and welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do kind of an update on how I'm using my Filofaxes. Um, I am currently using the personal size Filofax, the A5 size Filofax, and I am still using my Erin Contran. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a little bit of an update on how I'm using these. And I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I know these can get kind of long. So let's go ahead and... Alright, so as most of you know, I have my personal size Filofax, my A5 size Filofax, and then my Erin Contran planner. So, first I'm going to start with my personal size because that is my wallet. So, <clears throat> I have the personal size in the purple. And I know a lot of people ask about the scuffs, and I'm sure you can see this little scuff right here. Um, I personally feel that the scuffs make it a little more personable. I like the scuffs on it because it shows that it's real leather and I also have a huge thing against like rustic looking things so to me it's fine not everybody will like that though so do know that they do scuff very easily um so but anyways let's go ahead and get in so I have quite a bit of stuff in here. On this side I have my change, some cash, my driver's license, military ID, some gift cards my kids got, and my debit card. Um, over here in the pen loop I just have a pen gems um, purple pen with the gold top. And then I have some dividers that I made. Um, I just have a little fly leaf. Um, and then my first divider, this is for my financial part. Um, I originally planned on doing the cash system, but because I know that that's not going to work for me, I decided to do it another way. I've set myself a budget each month, and I'm going to just write it in here. So I keep the receipts here, and then I just write how much I spend on groceries, gas, and eating out. And I have a set amount that I do each month for my budget. Um... I just made these. They're not anything special. I just made them with a ruler and a plain piece of paper that I cut down to size. Um, next, I have my monthly bills that I have to rewrite starting August 1st. Um, I have the due date and how much on average they are each month. Next, I have my file of facts pullout. Um, on this, I just write down what day we get paid, what day our major bills are due that are automatically drafted out of our account that I don't pay myself. And then on this one, these are just some of the debts that I plan on paying this year. As most of y'all know, I plan on being relatively debt-free by the end of 2016. That was one of my big goals this year. So I will have everything paid off except for two of our debts, which is my car and my student loans, because both of those we just got. And then next is just an, um, a write-up that I did for our finances. The next section is the calendar section. Um, I'm still waiting on my inserts to come in, so for right now, this is what I have. Um, I don't write anything insane in here. I kind of write just the big things, like when my kids don't have school, uh, paydays, um, you know, appointments, stuff like that. I don't really write a whole lot in here, just some things that I need to remember, and that way when I'm in public, if I have to take it out and write down an appointment, I'm not embarrassed by what's in here, or nobody sees what's inside my life. They can just kind of see appointments and stuff. So like this week, it wasn't anything crazy, you know, just kind of the smaller stuff. And I have throughout the year in here. Um, my next section is my to-do list sections. So I just have some things that I wanted to do um, last weekend. I got all of it done except for one. And then I just have an extra couple. And then my last section is my note section. So this was on the back of on my notepad. And I just took it out and kept it in here because I want to keep all my little notes in here with me so that I can remember what it is. Um, unless, of course, it's just scribble scrabble. This one has an important number on it. So that's why I kept it. And then I just have all my extra note pages. And in the back here, I have all my cards. So I have my rewards cards, credit cards, and all of that. I keep my credit cards in the middle to, for my own safety, of course. But I have all of my, like, Sam's Club cards, low cards, all of that in here. And then, of course, I just have an extra one. And then I have the pad in the back. So, I keep this in my purse. Um, I've heard a lot of people say how heavy it is. And it is pretty heavy, especially with all the cards and my change and stuff like that in there. But it's no heavier than my wallet was, so it's not a huge deal for me. 
All right, next I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, my file effects on my A5 planner. So I want to point out the scuff here. You can see, not a big deal for me, but some people ask about it. I, again, love the scuffs. So this baby is packed. Um, I honestly am loving the file effects system and what all I can do with it. And I'm thinking about switching, but I haven't made a for sure decision yet. So I'm going to get into this. Not a lot has changed from my Kiki K, so I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. But over here, I just have my kids' uh, school's business cards and page flags. Back here, I have some stickers that I made. Um, I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. I have some of the little compliment cards from Erin Condren. And then I keep a fine tip blue pen over here. Um, I love the fine tip pens because I write weird. And so with the fine tip pens, I feel like I write better. It's just a personal preference. Um, and then, of course, it goes into my planner. So I have the Phi Leaf. Um, school section. So I have all my major semester projects that are here. And then I have all of my uh, classes. I print out what's due each week and then I highlight it as I get it done. And I have that for each of my classes. This is my major part. This is my planner. Um, I just have my year at a glance here that I keep paydays on. And then I have just my dividers that I made. So for January and then February. And then in February, I have my little to-do list that I want to do this month. And then I have um, this here because I keep my month here. And then after my month, I do have a budget plan that I do each month. Um, but i keeping that hidden, of course. And then on this week, I have, you know, just... I try to do just blue ink and highlight different things for what it's for and then I have this habit tracker here um, just some of the weekly things that I like to do every day and then I mark the days that I do them I made this little this week bookmark um, with some just some um, paper that I got from Michael's um, it's just the clear like paper like inside the Erin Condren that first page it's very similar to this paper right here and then I just made this with it. And then, of course, this is my school to-dos. Up here I have things that I want to get done this week at some point. And then, of course, this way. In this planner, I'm using the morning, day, and evening setup rather than my school, boys, and home. Because a lot the home always gets full. And then the rest doesn't really get that full. So, And then we go into March, April, May... And then in these inserts, I went ahead and made, I wanted to point out real fast, um, I know I have my school stuff on one side, but I'm really wanting to use this as my notes for the week or gratitude or something like that. So I went ahead and made a insert for my school stuff so I can write my appointments there and keep it off my planner pages. So we have, what was this? May, June, July... August, September, October, November, and then December. And then after the planner, I have my little top loading envelope here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, though. And then I have my list and to do still. Um, and this is just an ongoing list. I have stuff that I want in houses, things that we need in a house, what we want in a house, little passwords or anything like that, and then all the extra note pages. And then I still have my reading log. So I keep what I want to read in 2016, what I have read in 2016. And then my goals, I just have clips back here. I went ahead and finished them. I have my financial goals clipped separately. And then the back here is just a notepad and another pen gems pen. Um, one thing I do want to point out, if you guys are wondering why I have these, um, I am following Paper and Glam, Lisa Marie, um, her seasonal living, and I absolutely love it. And that's one reason why I switched to this planner, because I love the seasonal living. And she has a ton of printouts, I'll show you Marge's. Um, where you can go in and it's just kind of monthly things like the holidays that are that month and, you know, change your flowers and change your nail colors and stuff like that. And I really love how she does this. So I have adapted her seasonal living in my planner and I adapted her seasonal living in my home. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave her link to her YouTube page and her shop. Um, that way you guys can check that out as well. So that is my file of facts, my A5. 
And then lastly, I have my Erin Condren. So a lot of you have asked if I'm still using my Erin Condren, and I am still using it. Um, I still use it for everything that I would use it for before. Um, I just kind of go between different planners. So in the front, the only thing that has changed here is I did finally figure out how to use this section. I'm using it for the book that I read, work that I've done, um, any financial things. So if I've paid off debt, anything like special that's happened that month, I want to keep it here so that I have a quick turn to. And then here's just my February and I have it clipped. So this is this week. So this week I'm trying something different. I've used my stickers over here for my assignments. And then I just use the blue ink and I check it off when I get it done. Everything else is blue ink in here except for my stickers. Um, and then I've just highlighted for my classes. So this is still classes, my boys' schedules, and um, home life. And I've printed some new stickers that I really like. Um, I still have my financial stuff there. And you just go into the next month and I have like the book club again with Lisa Marie. She has a book club that she does monthly and that's where I'm getting the books that I've read. Um, so that's really, I don't think I have changed anything else. Oh, I did do the um, book club books this year and then books I want to read. And then back here I just have my stickers that I've ordered through Erin Condren and then some of the older stickers and stamps. So... I am still using all three. I actually really love my system set out this way. I have really enjoyed being able to have multiple planners. Um, I have discussed getting the paper and glam inserts for my planner. I haven't made a decision quite yet because I'm kind of lingering between that and the so much crafting inserts for my A5. Just because of the way that they are laid out, it makes it a little diff difficult to decide between the two, but I like these two because they both fit the air and contra boxes, so I wouldn't have to change my stickers. Um, I am planning on probably switching to Filofax next year since I'm starting work and kind of giving up my air and Condren. I haven't made a full decision on that yet, but that's just the, my thought process at the time. We all know how I am. I usually always go back to Erin Condren, so we will see. But I just wanted to do this quick video for you and show you how I am set up already. And I will do another in video once I get my inserts for my personal and all of that. And I will keep you updated on how I'm doing. So I hope you guys have a blessed week, and I will see you soon.